Hello and welcome your lovely faces back to the channel for another video. This is going to be one of two videos from the condensed live stream that we are going to be doing from last night. And we've done a, quite a few topics last night and this is going to be the main topic which is that we talked about is AH's law firm actually sabotaging her and are they doing all of this on purpose. So let's spin this around. As you can see, we talked about this the other day where it was such a good and amazing day on uh, Tuesday when we saw that the judge literally said Adam Waldman was subpoenaed wrong, which is just fabulous and it's just so goddamn funny. As you can see, obviously, Laura did say, you know, the uh, motion to compel and sanction Adam Waldman was denied. That's because, obviously, her law firm didn't know how to subpoena someone which just makes you think hmm okay that's a little bit uh, a little bit strange a little bit weird because any law firm will tell you with subpoenas it's one of the easiest things you learn how to do and this one you do it it's like right okay we've done it now we can do it properly but they didn't do it properly which makes you think why and obviously, we talked about quite a few things over the last couple of days on Twitter, and obviously in comments and previous videos regarding this entire situation. And that got me thinking was, is her law firm intentionally sabotaging everything that is going on because they're like, yeah, we know this is a losing battle. We need to just say some stupid stuff. We need to do something stupid, and we need to get either fired off this case, or we can just sit back, take her money, put our feet up and do a half-assed job. With the half-assed job, Pat, I really do think that's what they've done. Because, obviously, we've seen that her lawyers have come out and they've said a lot of stupid stuff over the last couple of months. But, obviously, since Adam Waldman has not got a gag order on him, he's been going on Twitter every single day since the 1st of January. And we are now on the 23rd of January. So, he's literally, every single day, dropping bombs just do a mic drop after mic drop and he's saying well how can this happen you know the judge has said one thing the evidence is there but then the judge is like oh no i don't believe police officers i don't police 14 year 15 year veterans of the police force i believe some little blonde two-bit actress who's not even that famous and that's what happened there then obviously we saw the letter came out from children's hospital of los angeles and obviously, it uh, it caused a massive stir because you've got a lot of people now and a lot of media companies. You've got uh, E! Online in Canada. You've got Entertainment Canada, I believe is the one. You've got them. You've got a lot of news websites now as well, movie news websites. They're all coming out and they're all like, yeah, she didn't pay. She lied. You do have some, obviously, who are uh, going around saying, oh, no, it's fine. What she's done is fine. This is what we do. It's yeah, it's okay. Johnny Depp hasn't got anything on her, which is what we saw yesterday, where we saw a couple of websites which is literally stating, oh, yeah, Johnny Depp supposedly finds real evidence. And, the, no, he hasn't supposedly found. He was given it by the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, who said... She hasn't paid us our money. That's where it is. And then, obviously, when you think about that instant there, being told, right, we haven't got any money from her. And then you could be thinking, if you're her lawyer, she told her she paid it. And then you could be thinking, right, maybe this is why Roberta Kaplan left. But then you could be thinking as well, how can I make this even worse? What do they go and do? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they went and said the following, didn't they? So this is what they done. In a statement to E! News, the Aquaman actress attorney, Elaine Bredhoft, confirms her client has yet to fulfill the $7 million pledge. She made to Children's Hospital of LA and the American yeah, ACLU. And remember, we saw exactly what she said. Amber has already been responsible for seven figures in donations to charitable causes and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge. However, she has been delayed in that goal because Mr. Depp's filed a lawsuit against her and consequently she has been forced to spend millions of dollars 
defending Mr. Depp's false accusations against her. That line there is the biggest one. Forced to spend millions of dollars. And when you think of it, it's like, right, okay, millions of dollars. They've been, uh, this is what they got to do. They've got to be asked for millions of dollars now, okay. So, why should we go out and say that, you know, she lied to us, that yes, she hasn't done this, but we can just sit here and get paid. Put our feet up, get a cup of coffee, get a couple of biscuits, and we can just relax and have the money roll in. And obviously, the subpoena, which again is just absurd of how they did not actually subpoena someone correctly is beyond my imagination because i've spoken to quite a few people who actually have law experience in that field and you've got a lot of people who you know they're clerks for lawyers and everything else and they're like yes yeah, subpoena is one of the easiest things that we can get done we get the letter we do it we go out we serve it this is what we do and i was like right okay but i also mentioned as well in a video the other day is that Someone on Twitter actually said, yeah, my lawyer friend saw this, shook their head and walked out the room because even they couldn't stop laughing at how incompetent this law firm was. But with the Breda Hoff saying, she spent millions of dollars having to defend herself. So that millions of dollars is going to that law firm. That money is going near. But, you know, saying, oh, basically, oh, yes, we're getting millions of dollars from this person. But, uh, yeah, she hasn't paid it. She says she is going to, though. And that's when a lot of people now are thinking, oh, what time is? This is where a lot of people now is thinking, right, maybe they're doing this on purpose. Which is what exactly now, which people have been asking me. And that's why I did the stream last night, because I was thinking to myself, yes. This could very well be sabotaging her. Because if the she fires them, she's still got to pay them. You know, because they could be like, you know, well, we're going to take you to court. We don't give us our money. You know, another person and another company saying, give us our money. And obviously now, with that subpoena being false and everything, well, not false, but they haven't paid it and everything else, they actually have to pay for Johnny Depp's people to do a, a couple more documents. They have to pay the fine for that. Not fine, sorry, the fee. Which is just like, oh my god. Can this get any more stupid? When you put the subpoena along with the lawyer going out there and saying, oh no, she hasn't paid it, but uh, she's been busy, you know. She's paid us millions of dollars, but she hasn't paid them. You know, she's almost uh, saying as well that we, you know, we're more important than the children. Which, uh, again... I want to know how much, m m how much in millions she has paid him. Well, come on, it's got to be quite a bit if uh, she's gone out there and said she has spent millions of dollars trying to defend herself against all these accusations. Well, it's your law firm that is getting that money. She's paying for your Lexus or Mercedes or whatever car you got. She's paying for your house, but she can't pay the kids because she's paying you instead. Hmm, which concludes my statement of that. I literally do now think they're doing this on purpose. They know they got a losing battle, and they know for a fact that it's not going to go well. This is the end of part one of the condensed live stream. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.